to help both teachers to mark essay answers and also for students to understand what is required for an essay answer at a grade 11 level, we have included the main points in an essay answer for this answer key for a unit test and also examples of different essay answers uh, for the different uh, marking schemes. So here you'll see that essay answer in level 5 would be uh, a little more detailed and that will help students understand what is required. A lot of our assignments were based on the six historical thinking skills outlined by the historical thinking project. To teach those two skills, the historical or the critical thinking consortium has put together teaching videos and we've got links for your students to view those videos and here's an example. This series introduces six concepts to help you think about history. In this session, we focus on historical perspective as we examine Chinese Canadians' attitudes towards Canadian society during the early part of the 20th century. Taking on historical perspective involves trying to view the past through the social, intellectual, and emotional lenses of the time in order to understand what it would have been like for the people living then. The problem with many Hollywood movies of Along with all the online resources, we have a list of living resources for students that appreciate books and DVDs. And let me just take you back to the page at the front that shows how we've listed those resources in a little more depth. So here is an example of some of the resources. This is a favorite, God Does Not Forget the Boer War Commando, its primary source resource. The author, whether it's in print or out of print, the age level whether it's a book or a um, uh, biography, I guess that's biography or fiction, the, age, the year that it was written and the pages and then a, a description. And so our students have really appreciated this list of resources. We also have a list of DVDs which may be uh, docudramas or dramatical features and um, will really bring uh, a lot of greater understanding to the different topics that the students are studying. And so you see with all this extra resource uh, material the students can really delve into the studies in greater depth. We have allowed for at least two or three days per lesson because there is a lot to discover here but you see there's enough material easily to stretch this into a, a second course if so desired. There is a final exam and answer key. And at this time we also are offering students a um, subscription to Tiki Talki timelines, online timelines. One of the assignments is to ask them to do a uh, timeline of Canadian autonomy and so here is one of our students timelines that they've been working at just to give you an idea of uh, some of the work that has been done already in this course by our test students. And that should probably be enough to help you get an understanding of what is offered with Canada in the 20th century high school course.